I'm here today because you guys really suck at storytelling. I don't mean the stories in books or movies. I mean the one that lives right here. The story in your head. It's the most important story you will ever tell. It might change your life. And I would argue that that story in your head is the single most important tool that you have got in controlling not only your mental wellness, but your success. I think it's a fair question to ask why and how. Stories are really powerful for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if it's told well, you don't forget it. You never forget it. A well-told story will stick. Doesn't matter if it's Little Red Riding Hood or Titanic, you ain't gonna forget it. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Because the story that you tell is the story you become. So today I'm gonna share my story. Back in 2017, I was fundraising. It had taken me nine months, right? And over those nine months, you calculate your consumer's value. You crunch all the data in your business. You build uh, cohorts and forecasts and models and decks and stories and you pitch to a million investors. And I was right at the end of that journey. And I was trying to raise $2.25 million. And I had $2.5 million committed. I had $250,000 more committed from investors than I needed. And it was a Wednesday morning, 24 hours before the deal gets inked, 24 hours before the transaction deadline. And one of my funds, who was in for $500,000, pulled out. I went from being $250,000 oversubscribed to $250,000 undersubscribed with 48 hours to figure it out. In that moment, I completely crumbled. I was terrified. I felt completely alone. It's not the kind of thing you want to call the rest of the team about. I was scared. I felt like I'd let the team down. I felt like I'd let investors down. And truthfully, I wasn't entirely sure what to do. That's a lot of money to find real quick. Right after I crumbled and sort of picked myself back up again, I decided to make a list of every single person I'd ever met who trusted me, believed in me, and could lose at least $25,000. And I made that list, and I made 50 really uncomfortable phone calls, 50 really shitty phone calls, and eight people said yes. I struck out way more times than I hit, but I got the job done. And that was one of the most difficult moments, honestly, in the history of this business for me. But at that moment, if, if this journey has taught me anything, it is that I always have options. Always have options. And in that moment, I remembered that. And while you still have options, you still have hope. And so I don't want you to read this and think um, it's easy. It's not easy. When shit hits the fan and you're in your darkest moment, Telling yourself you always have options is, is a really incredibly difficult thing to do. In a position of high stress, remembering that you have options is a really hard thing to do. But it takes practice. Every single day, you tell yourself a story in your head. You're probably telling yourself a story right now. That little voice never kind of goes off, right? And so I want you to practice every single time that voice says, I'm screwed. Every single time you get a bad mark or you miss a deadline or whatever it is, and you say to yourself, I'm screwed, I can't do this, I need you to change the story. I need you to change the script. I need you to say, I have options. Failure comes with all this stigma and baggage and weight. And I don't believe in it. I do not believe in it. I believe in failing. I do not believe in failure. And the story you guys tell is the story you will become. And I swear to God, the most important thing that you have, the most important tool that you have is that story. That story controls your mental health and it controls your ultimate success. The story you tell is the story you become, so please tell a good one. Thank you guys.